All right, we're going to run through the cranial nerve tests uh, with my lovely assistant, Laura, and my daughter. Okay. All right. Um, so I'm going to ask her some questions, make sure we can safely proceed. I'm going to sanitize my hands or wash my hands in the, in the view of my patient. So we're starting off clean. Um, and we're going to run some through some cranial nerve tests. Um, do you have any trauma or any pain on one side of your body that I need to be aware of? I should stay away from? No. No? Okay. Are you allergic to any scents? No. Okay. All right. So this first test is olfactory. So we're going to take the smell test. Um, I'd like for you to close your eyes and close off one nostril. And I'm going to ask you to inhale and identify a scent. Ready? Okay. Close your eyes. Close off one nostril. Inhale. Release. Perfect. Thank you. And then I would do this test on the other side with my second different scent. All right, cranial nerve number two is optic. So we're going to do visual acuity test. So just a gross visual acuity and your visual field. So for this test, I'd like for you to use mirror me and cover up one eye. I'm going to move my fingers in your field of vision. I'd like for you to tell me so without moving your eye, just looking straight forward, let me know when you can see the, the, my fingers and then when you don't see them any longer. Okay? No. No. Okay? No. No. Okay, great. Thank you. And then I would do this test on the other side and just looking for symmetry um, of where her, where the, the enter and exit her field of vision. The next set of tests we do together, we test cranial nerve three, four, and six together, oculomotor, trochlear, and abducens. This is testing for eye motion with um, accommodation. All right, so for this next test, um, I'd like for you to follow with this. Um, look at the tip of my reflex hammer with your eyeballs only. Follow the motion. Okay, ready? So I'm watching her eyes, gauging for fluid motion. Blink. <laughs> Getting accommodation. Great. Thank you. All right. So cranial nerve number five now is the trigeminal nerve. Um, so I'm going to, this is the um, skin brush test. So using a cotton wisp, I'm going to check it on her sternum so she can feel that first. And then we're going to do the, the test. All right, so for this next test, um, I'm gonna use a cotton ball on three different areas on your face. Um, you just expose your sternum real quick. This is what it's gonna feel like, just so that you know, okay? Um, so I'd like to have you close your eyes and I'm going to touch your face in three areas. Just point to where I touch it, okay? Close your eyes. I'm going to touch three areas randomly on both sides. So then I would test the opposite side. All right, perfect. Thank you. All right, so cranial nerve number seven is the facial test. So for this one, um, I'd like for you to raise your eyebrows, wrinkle your forehead, and smile. <laughs> Wonderful. Thank you. So that's cranial nerve number seven, facial. Cranial nerve number eight is vestibular cochlear, so just a basic hearing test. Um, so um, can you hear this sound? Okay, I'm gonna make that sound with your eyes closed. Um, I'm gonna, you just tell me when you can no longer hear the sound. Okay, close your eyes. No? Okay. And then I would do it on the other side with the same fingers, so I have the same sound. I'm just testing for symmetry on both sides. And then for cranial nerve, you can actually test cranial nerves 9, 10, and 12 together. So that is glossopharyngeal and vagus and hypoglossal. 
All right, so for this next test, I'd like for you to swallow, open your mouth, stick out your tongue, and say ah. 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 Perfect, thank you. All right, and the last one is cranial nerve number 11, which is a spinal accessory or accessory nerve. This is a shoulder shrug test. So for this one, I'd like for you to shrug your shoulders. I'm going to push down, resist me. All right, perfect, nice and strong. And that's all the cranial nerve tests.